in passenger car. So at the moment, everybody who arrives into Australia, be you a foreigner or an Aussie, uh, you would complete this card and it has your contact information, your details, as well as some of the biosecurity information. Um, that obviously is sometimes difficult to read. It takes time to manually process this and in the future when we need to be able to contact trace people, uh, we of course would like that information to be able to get to health authorities uh, immediately rather than having to go through the process of entering the data and across to them. So from this time next year, our expectation is that we'll no longer need this incoming passenger card because we'll have a fully digital incoming passenger card. And what's more, by having a digital product in the future, should there be a globally available vaccine, we'll be able to attach a authentic vaccination certificate to the incoming passenger card so that we will know if a person has indeed had that vaccination or not, and therefore they will be able to um, uh, enter into Australia potentially without quarantining. Furthermore, by digitising this, we have much greater um, authenticity and integrity associated uh, with who the individual is, because um, typically you'd do this on your phone, an image would be taken of your face, which would match up um, to your passport to ensure there is integrity in relation to the identity um, of the individual. And of course, uh, from a contact tracing perspective, it means that we'll be able to immediately have the information um, connected into contact tracing capability in each of the state and territories jurisdictions um, should they need it. So this is a significant development. Um, as Minister Roberts said, we'll be putting this tender out next week and um, our ambition is to have this available for us next year. And this is just another further step um, in our efforts to slowly reopen and safely reopen um, the Australian borders um, so that we can allow more people to leave the country and more people to come into the country.